Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scott, Scott Nutrition, back for a mail day video. Um, this is a care package I received in the mail from Jeremy, the car dreamer. He contacted me on Facebook, um, I think it was earlier this week or late last week, and asked if he could send something my way. So he said it was packer related, and that's all I really need to hear. And I said, sure. So um, the package arrived. Um, I did take it out of the package, um, but I didn't open it uh, more than that. So we're going to open it up and see what he sent. Um, I kind of know what he sent already, but it'd be fun just to look at him and kind of go through it. So here's the packaging here. And if you guys know what this is, this is actually a pack of Packers police cards. Um, I believe he said it was the 1984 top, or not tops, 84 Packers police set. So um, we have tight end Paul Kaufman. He was a really good player. He's in the Packers Team Hall of Fame. Uh, Sid Sid Kitson, that's a name. Uh, we got Larry McCarron. Um, he's the guy with the the, the finger that bends at a ninety degree angle by his pinky. Um, he's actually um, an analyst on the Packers radio network. He calls all the games. Um, he was a center though for the Packers. Um, we got George Cumby, offensive coordinator Bob Schnelker, Greg Koch. He's actually in the Packers Hall of Fame as well. Take a look at that mustache. We should all desire to grow mustaches like that. Uh, got Terry Jones. Jerry Ellis. He's in the Packers Team Hall of Fame. Mark Lee. Just got inducted in the Packers Hall of Fame two years ago. Uh, Randy Scott. Bucky Scrimner. Well, that's a name right there. Love it. Punter. Uh, we got Mike Douglas. He's in the Packers Team Hall of Fame. Dave Dreschler. Mark Murphy. He's in the Packers Team Hall of Fame. And he's not the Packers' current team president. That's another Mark Murphy. Dick Modzalewski. I'm good with the Polish names. I have some Polish ancestry in my blood. Uh, he was the D coordinator. Eddie Lee Ivory. Lynn Dickey was a great uh, quarterback, deep thrower. Um, Packers had... Did have some offense in the 80s. Um, they did not have very much defense, however. Carl Swanky. G.A.S.C. Clark. Tim Lewis. Bears fans will love this guy, Tim Lewis. And you know why. He's the guy who put that unnecessary hit on, Jim, on Harbaugh. Eddie Garcia. John Anderson, not Seminole win John Anderson, but the player. Forrest Gregg was the head coach at the time in 84. Great offensive lineman, Hall of Famer. And John Jefferson, who was a really good wide receiver. Um, him and James Lofton uh, were, the, were on those 80s, great 80s teams. Uh, I should say great offensive teams, anyways. Their defense was terrible. And overall, they were actually pretty terrible in the 80s. And so this is the 84 set. This is the second year of the Packers' uh T, uh, police set. You can see they have these little tips on the back. Victory, block, playbook and such. Um, and then what I thought I'd do is I here's uh, some cards I have from the 1983 set that I already have. I didn't have the 84 set, so I thank Jeremy for sending that to me. That's pretty awesome. The 84 set was the inaugural year. Sorry, the 83 set was the inaugural year of the Packers Team Hall of Fame. Also the year I was born, ironically. Got Mike McCoy, Mike Douglas, Eddie Lee Ivory, Philip Epps, Sid Kitson, Lynn Dickey, Ezra Johnson, there's James Lofton, and uh, Bart Starr was the head coach at the time. Did not Actually, did not work out very well to have former players as head coaches in the 80s. They did not do too well. Got George Cumbie, Johnny Gray, Terry Jones, John Jefferson, John Anderson, Jan Stenerud, uh, the, you know, Kicker Hall of Famer, who uh, spent many years with the Chiefs. Did spend time on the Packers, actually. Paul Kaufman, again, the tight end. Jerry Ellis. And the man, Larry McCarron. Um, there's one other card I want to grab, so just sit tight. And here it is. Uh, I actually have a graded 83 Packers police, Greg Cook. And that's the, re the reason for that is this is the card that's actually in the Packers Team Hall of Fame. I think it's only like pop two. 
but there are two graded higher. I actually really wanted a 10 for this card, but unfortunately a 9. I had to buy this whole 83 set just to get the Greg Cook because they don't come graded. Nobody's out there grading Greg Cook cards. <laughs> There's no money to be made, but I did need the card for the set. So here's that card. So again, uh, thanks Jeremy, the card dreamer. This is a, a really cool addition to my collection. And um, we'll kind of put it right by the 80, 83 set. Now I have the 83 and 84 set. So um, I thanks for um, reaching out to me on Facebook and um, sending this my way. I really appreciate it. I um, really appreciate what you do for the community and uh, your positive videos you already have, always have, and always helping people out. Um, and you're definitely an asset to this community, man. So I really, really appreciate it. And um, if you haven't checked out the Card Dreamer, Jeremy, um, please do so. The Card Dreamer is his name. He lives down in Florida, where it's much warmer than Wisconsin right now. It's a uh, minus 20 wind chill out right now. So, God, I hope it's warmer in Florida. As well, everybody, thanks for watching my my uh, quick uh, care package mail day video. And um, I hope to see you all again soon. You guys have a great weekend and a great evening. Thanks again, everybody.